So it's safe to say that Efru is there for the meantime in between time because she chooses to be there. It doesn't seem or appear at this time that she is uh, there on any type of even from a distant type of force situation. Um, Efru went live on Sunday to clear up rumors of her possibly leaving Carbonation. Um, they were playing some sort of game, mind game with the community, and I had to expose it because you're asking for $15,000 for attorney fees, but you still continuously want to play mind games with the public. And then in the same breath, you want to ask these Babylonians that work every day, get out here and work for 15000 to help raise to get Nature Boy out. I don't know how you guys play these mind games and then, you know, fix your mouth to ask for that sort of money. Like that just is something that grows on trees. Uh, it was a, an emotional moment also for Efru because out of the blue, her mother just showed up. Um, and gave her some money. Also, first and foremost, was coming to check on her child because she knows that Nature Boy is locked up and she has that right to do that. You know, they want to run. They can't stay down. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm live. What's going on? What's this one? This one is there, baby. He did the one she to know. He didn't go? Yeah. He wants to know that he gave it to you, baby. Oh. <laughs> Where you come from? Hold on. You want to say it to me? Huh? Where you come from? Oh, from home. What y'all doing out here? Well, we just thought about it. We were really in this room today. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Appreciate that. That's the universe right there, <laughs> say. I love myself. See, I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just have it later. <laughs> I'm thankful. I'm thankful. All right, baby. Like she just did. Um, it was really sad to already see from being a person looking in at this live that the connection was there that, you know, she was happy to see her mother. She was emotional. You could you could see it on her face. It was an emotional moment for the both of them. But because she's so reprogrammed and brainwashed, I don't think she could give all of her emotions and how happy she was to see her mother. Um, she had to hold some of those emotions back because of the re reprogramming that Nature Boy has done with these women and them having to be obedient to this man who is now locked up. Um, that is just further letting us know that we can't, as a community, uh, let history continuously repeat itself. Um, these women are the last of the Mohegans. Uh, they're the ones that obviously believe in that there's no plan B alongside with True. And they're going to do everything in their power to make sure they try and get Nature Boy, uh, someone that's going to represent him. Now, there were some rumors, and I'm going to say rumors, surfacing. We know that Aya was an adult worker in the streets, okay, uh, prior to coming to Carbonation. And there were, and I will agree with you guys on this, there were some questionable moments where uh, I believe that Aya could have been taken out of retirement, let's just say. Um, and... Another young lady, uh, I can't think of her name. Uh, she was the dark-skinned one. Uh, you guys put it in the comment section because right now I'm having a brain fog. Um, also, I think that Nature Boy, when they were kind of strapped on cash, they didn't have that much money. I believe that they did what they needed to do to get that money. And I believe um, because somebody has said, you know, SL, you remember when Nature Boy said, would you sell yourself? If you had to do something for me, you know, Nature Boy. And they all agreed. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if they're doing that. I wouldn't be surprised if Nature Boy, even behind closed doors, something he's not going to share on uh, social media to incriminate himself as much as he's already incriminated himself with all the recordings of the crimes that he's being charged with at the present time and more to come. I'm quite sure he showed them places that they could go to make quick money um, and avenues that they could take if uh, they needed money in order to survive or to get Nature Boy out of a, a jam. So I just want to let you guys know, I do hear what you're saying. I do read the comments. Um, I do hear what you're saying in these live chats. And, and I'm not saying that what you're saying is a lie. Um, and, and I'm not even really directly saying that it's a rumor, but we got to be real careful um, what we put out into the universe. Uh, we got to be responsible with our wordplay, you know what I'm saying? So that we're able to spread the information and not be censored. That's why I'm putting it in that, that, uh, that, that way. But, um, you know, if that is the case going forth, that they're going to have to subject themselves to things that they probably never even did. I know Aya had subjected herself to that lifestyle, so she might not be that bothered with it. But I'm talking about the other younger women that are over there, Zoka, Aya, and Malia. Um, I, 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 you know, I think that is a real unfortunate situation that they're putting themselves into. Um, but this is the life that they chose to live, you know, um, they've been hanging around the barbershop too long and they got a haircut and, um, this is going to continue to be part of their story and their life. But, you know, it doesn't have to be the end of their life. You know, it's not what you do in the beginning that counts is what you do in the end. So they still have a lot more time to get it right. But what I'm concerned about, and I share this with you guys all the time, is the mental. And I feel as though when you have checked out mentally, if you're too far gone, sometimes you can't come back from that. And I'm just worried that they're going to put themselves further and further in that position where they can't snap back from that to get it right. So it's, it will count what you do in the end if you're not doing the right thing at the end because your faculties are not there because you allow somebody to do this to your life. So, you know, I, you know, I just hope that uh, they, they, they really sit with themselves. They're obviously not sitting with themselves now because if they were, at least Aya and Malia, even if, like a lot of people say, even if they go back, they probably don't, they won't directly get their kids back right away but they could go into counseling be able to be present in their children's lives as fathers visiting or living under the same roof as their, their their children not really in control of the the uh what goes on with the kids but still there for the kids to uh know their parents um and they haven't came to that place yet so i'm not fully um in agreement that they have really sat with themselves i think that they're still in this grand delusion i think that they're still pretty much brainwashed they are definitely re reprogrammed and they're they're okay with it and that's what happens a lot even in dv relationships i mean this is a dv relationship where the woman doesn't really know what love feels like or maybe they do know what love feels like but they lost who they are were the the person they were prior to knowing that relationship or them knowing nature boy they've lost that and they're trying to regain it and sometimes we we sort of when we lose ourselves to please somebody else we lose who we are in the process and i honestly think that they have lost who they are in the process and it's going to take some time for them to reprogram uh, the whole mechanicals of the mind and, and see that this is not where it's at, you know, and I hope for all the women, not just Efru, that was, uh, that was a, a, a memorable moment to see 
Efru hugging her mother and happy to see her mother and her mother happy to see her. I know inside as a mother, that is a burning feeling and, and an unimaginable, unimaginable feeling seeing that your child is not chained where you can see it with the eyes, but mentally chained. And there's nothing you can do about it, but do just what, uh, you know, um, Efru's mother did. And that was to give her daughter some money and, you know, basically probably give her that mother look like I'm here. And when you're ready, you're going to be okay. We know Efru has a plan B. We seen Efru's plan B, but Efru has to be ready for that plan B. If she's not ready for that plan B, then she's going to stay stuck. She's dealing with the narcissist who's into um, himself and himself only. He's uh, yet again locked up and he's still only thinking about nature boy. They have to see that for their self and then they'll get tired. We can say it every single day for a year, but they have to want to let go of this situation on their own and not have no assistance. They have to go through the trials and the tribulations and bump their head a few times and make the mistakes on their own to grow and get stronger and be able to pull away from this whole matrix that they're in right now, which is to me a nightmare, but this is their reality. 